thousands or less officers on the street. So that's that's beyond a significant part of that argument. Police Commissioner Dermot Shea on the PIX11 morning news, responding to allegations of a police slowdown and calls for an investigation by Brooklyn Borough President Eric Adams and City Council Member Richard Torres after a 39% drop in the number of overall arrests by officers. If there is a slowdown, you're not only endangering the public, you're endangering your colleagues and you're hurting the city of New York. To that, Shea started listing a few reasons. Let's talk about a slowdown in arrests. Um, perhaps it was the slowdown in marijuana arrests. No, that was legislated. Maybe it's a slowdown in knife arrests. No, that was legislated as well. Uh, and I could continue on and go on. Shea agrees the overall number is low for several reasons. The commissioner believes the focus should be on gun arrests, which has increased. Last month alone, according to the NYPD stats, police arrested 495 people for illegal guns, compared to 484 in August of 2019. To address the part about less officers on the streets, PIX11 has learned the department lost more than 1,000 officers in a mass exodus. More than 1,100 retired between May and August of this year. 93 resigned and more than 1,300 officers put in papers to retire. Couple that with losing an entire class of new recruits. Attrition is a normal thing that happens in the NYPD. We get answers and put the numbers in perspective. Turning to law enforcement experts, retired NYPD Deputy Inspector Corey Pegues and St. John's University criminal justice professor Dr. Robert Gonzalez to get answers to a possible police slowdown. It's really hard to say, you know, that, that there's an actual slowdown going on because there are just a ton of variables that we must consider. There's a breakdown now between the unions and City Hall. So again, subliminally, there could be things going on in the mind of the officers, but it's very hard to tell based on the information that we have so far. Cops are answering jobs, but they're not going as fast as they used to do. I don't think that any cop is outright dismissing a job and not responding to a job, but the morale is really, really low. It has tanked. Nicole Johnson, PIX11 News.